In his remarks after the ruling, President Biden said the Supreme Court's decision must not be the final word on abortion. He directly linked the decision to the upcoming midterm elections. Today, President Biden travels to Germany for the G7 summit, where he will discuss global economic issues. But the shockwaves of overturning Roe will follow him on this foreign trip. CBS News senior White House and political correspondent Ed O'Keefe is just over the Austrian border from where that meeting will occur and joins us now. Ed, let's start with that political fallout. The president even said this won't be the last word. What might we see in those midterms coming up? Well, Dana, good to see you. I think the biggest impact, at least initially, is going to be on state races, races for governor and control of state legislatures, now that this is a state-by-state -state decision. Watch states especially where there might be a Democratic governor and a Republican state legislature, places like Michigan and Pennsylvania. Beyond that, it's a reminder that elections have consequences. And at the federal level, you're going to see Democrats and Republicans talking about things like passing a law that allows abortion rights nationally, or Republicans talking about a law that would ban it nationally. It's going to be among the issues they discuss as they try to either hold on to or take control of Congress. Ed, overturning, overturning Roe v. Wade has long been a goal of conservatives. Is there an indication of what you think? You've been talking to them. What, what do they look to next? Well, now they're going to have to sort out how exactly to define what is permissible in each of these states where, for example, a trigger law may be about to take effect uh, or, or they're going to put restrictions in place. You know, at what point is the ban in place? Is it 15 weeks? Is it less than that? Is it more than that? What's the definition of viability? Uh, when, when does life, in essence, begin? Uh, what other services might a state be willing to pay for now to help mothers either who didn't want the pregnancy, can't afford to have the pregnancy, or are going to need assistance? That's the next step in this, and it's going to be a different definition from different Republican governors and state legislatures across the country. As Jan said earlier, ultimately some of this will end up being uh, sorted out by the courts, but that won't be for several more years. Uh, but to watch them now deal with this issue of restricting it and what the definitions are, that's going to be tricky for the conservative movement, for Republicans overall, because the answer is going to be different state to state. Ed, this has been a momentous week with uh, gun legislation, uh, this, this Supreme Court ruling, and the January 6th yeah. hearings. I mean, what is your takeaway? Well, Michelle, it's a reminder. Elections have consequences. And if you're somebody who's thrilled with what happened this week or terrified by what happened this week, uh, it's a reminder you have an obligation, you have an ability, a right to get up and do something about it by voting or participating in the process. And those that do so more often are the ones that ultimately are going to prevail. It's a reminder, too. We work in a, a co-equal uh, system of government. There are three branches. This week was a big week for Congress. They passed a sweeping bipartisan gun bill. The Supreme Court made some big rulings in terms of uh, abortion rights, even Miranda rights, arrest records. Uh, the president is going to sign that uh, bipartisan gun legislation this morning and then come here to Europe to conduct the one thing that he's able to do, and that is foreign policy. So it's a reminder. We live in a system where three branches can make big decisions. The others will offset them, and elections have consequences. It's also a reminder that change takes time. For those that were pushing for the end of abortion rights, it took nearly five decades. If those uh, who want to switch it back want to do something about it, it could take a while. And that'll be a challenge for especially the Democratic Party as they try to motivate people to turn out this fall. I have to say, look, it's, it's going to take a while, but it requires showing up over and over again to put people in place. Yeah, Ed, you mentioned that time. It'll be interesting to see the impact of the decision personally, the impact immediate, but also the fallout, as you mentioned, politically and economically that we may see over even more time. Thank you for the perspective and the insight.